Hey, hamsters, it is winter outside, so a good question is, how many layers are enough layers? But layers are not something we talk about when it comes to clothes, it is also a talk on the block when it comes to blockchain. You might have heard about layer 1, 2, and many others, and if you want to understand what's the difference, today's academy is what you need. Speaking of layer 1 versus layer 2 versus all the other types of blockchains, in a nutshell, these are the turbo chargers that make sure blockchains are keeping up with the demand so they don't slow down when more hamsters or transactions pile in. Think of it like upgrading your hamster wheel for maximum speed, because you know we're all about that fast track. So, what's the deal between layer 1 and layer 2? Ready for a comparison? Let's dig in. Sunflower seeds ready? Hmm? First up we have the Layer 1 blockchain, the backbone of the crypto universe. Just like a hamster on its wheel, a layer 1 blockchain keeps everything moving smoothly with its own network of nodes that validate transactions and add new blocks to the chain. These nodes are like the hamsters in the wheel, tirelessly working together to keep the whole system in sync. Each of these nodes follows a special set of rules called a consensus algorithm to make sure everything is legit. It's like a hamster agreement. Everyone has to agree on the same thing for the wheel to keep spinning. I agree. Layer 1 is also the foundation, the very core of the blockchain, like the original hamster wheel you first hop on. This is where everything happens, transactions, validations, and one of the most important smart contracts, those self-executing contracts that embed the agreement terms in code. You've probably come across a layer 1 blockchain or two before. In fact, some of the biggest names in the industry are layer 1. For example, Bitcoin is not only a layer 1 blockchain, but the most widely used used one at that. Transactions on the Bitcoin network are all recorded and verified by miners who receive Bitcoins in exchange for a successful validation. Another example, Ethereum, the public blockchain based computing platform and on it is its own cryptocurrency, Ether. And rounding out the layer 1 examples is Cardano. Unfortunately, layer 1 blockchains are not perfect. As the number of users increases, proof of work has proven to not to be able to cut it anymore. And even with different consensus algorithms and designs being tested to lower transaction fees and increase throughput, it wasn't enough to solve the scalability trilemma. So, the popular layer 1 blockchains we've come to know and love like Bitcoin and Ethereum already have their layer 2 solutions working alongside their base layer. Cue the intro for... Layer 2 Solutions, aka the networks that sit on top of the base blockchain layer. Think of Layer 2 like a hamster who's figured out how to shortcut through the maze instead of running through every single tunnel of the base layer, kind of like an express lane. This means in comparison to an L1 blockchain is effectively a scaling solution to address the scalability, efficiency and cost issues that arise in our good all L1s. These L2 networks take some of the load of the main blockchain by handling transactions off-chain, freeing up the base layer to do what it does best, keep everything secure and decentralized. Not bad, not bad. How does this work? Well, the protocols on layer 2 help scale things up by removing some of the interactions from the main blockchain. The smart contracts on the primary layer only need to worry about deposits and withdrawals, ensuring that all the off-chain action stays in line with the rules. It's like having a hamster delegation handle the small tasks so the main hamster can focus on the big picture. An example? Hmm? Remember Bitcoin? Well, in this ecosystem, the main L2 is the Lightning Network. Built by Joseph Poon and Tadao's Dreiger, the Lightning Network allows users to open channels so they can send multiple transactions without waiting for the main network. The goal? To make Bitcoin more scalable and its transactions cheaper. It's kind of like having a hamster use a special side path to pass trees back and forth without stopping at every single checkpoint. In theory, this solves the scalability problem. Unfortunately, it's not without problems, the Lightning Network somewhat replicates the hop and spoke model that we see in today's centralized finance. So, slightly backtracking, there is also optimism. 
think of optimism-based networks like a hamster with a clever little trick up its sleeve. Instead of running the whole maze and getting bogged down, this hamster rolls up a bunch of moves into one, skipping past all the traffic in something called optimistic roll-ups. Here's how it works. Optimistic roll-ups process transactions off-chain in big batches, so the main blockchain doesn't get clogged up. Allegedly, it processes transactions 26 times faster than Ethereum's main chain. The benefit is that gas costs are also 90% less. So yes, just another hamster zooming through its maze at a fraction of the cost. While Layer 2 focuses on boosting transaction speeds and lowering fees on a single blockchain, Layer 3 takes it even further, nibbling into the world of interconnectivity. This takes us to the next evolution of the hamster maze. Layer 3 Blockchains Think of Layer 3 like a hamster who's not just found a shortcut, but has figured out how to connect multiple mazes with specialized bridges, letting it zip between them seamlessly. It's like an express highway for the express highway that connects different shortcut lanes from Layer 2, making it even faster, more efficient, and customized for the hamster's specific journey. It's like adding extra wheels to your hamster run for maximum efficiency. Examples of L3 are a little more more specialized but still come up. Think of Digan Chain, built using Arbitrum's Orbit Layer 3 architecture, but it's launched right on top of the Coinbase incubated Ethereum Layer 2 network base. Basically, it's the ultimate hybrid hamster setup, mixing the best of both worlds to create a super-fast, ultra-low-cost environment where Digans and developers can run free from the hamster cage and build fun, user-focused applications. So the shift from Layer 1 to layer 3 looks at a shift from foundational to advanced application. Still following? Huh? Next up we have... No, not layer 4, but actually... Layer 0. While Bitcoin, the OG cryptocurrency, and the first real-world application of blockchain is a layer 1, new blockchains are reimagining how transactions are processed. Remember layer 1. Transactions are processed on the blockchain directly. Layer 2. Solution on top of layer 1 to elevate scalability issues. Layer 0 looks at optimizing data transfer between layer 1 and layer 2 networks with things like sharding or other consensus algorithm. You could say layer zero is like the hamster mastermind behind the scenes, ensuring all the wheels run smoothly and communicate with each other. If you've run across Cosmos, you've come across a layer zero network. Picture this. Instead of just one hamster wheel, there is an entire family of wheels, each running independently but still perfectly synchronized, working together to get to the finish line faster. Perfect. Perfect. The Cosmos Hub does, it creates bridges that let it connect with other proof-of-work blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum, even if they are not directly built for the Cosmos protocol. So, whether you're on Cosmos Wheel or another hamsters, the Cosmos Hub makes sure all the hamsters can join the same race. That's the magic of Layer Zero blockchain protocols. To all the hamsters racing through the maze or building the maze itself, remember that understanding these layers might be the key to unlocking a decentralized world. Thanks for joining today's Academy. Be sure to subscribe and remember, hamsters are power. One for all and all for one. Bye!